All right, friends, this is the last of a trio of videos that I've shot today. Uh, by the way, Donovan here with Ernie Williams Music and Trumpet Thoughts. And uh, just kind of sharing something. It's not a new thing. This is actually kind of tying into a comment that I made in a previous video, but I'm pulling it back into the context of TCE. And this is, as often the case, this is something that I've been recently sort of dealing with. So I would say over the last month, I've... I felt like I've kind of regressed a little bit with my TCE journey and it's been frustrating because I couldn't figure out like what I'm doing, what, what, what am I doing wrong? Why is this not working quite as well as it had before? And anytime that stuff happens, of course, I'm just like you guys, I get frustrated, you know, and I start to think, man, screw this horn. <laughs> I play the bass guitar too. Maybe I should start playing more bass guitar. I had a dream the other night that I started playing the tuba. Like, <laughs> man, you know, you've hit rock bottom as a trumpet player when you start to think you're going to play the tuba. <laughs> Anyway, uh, and so I came up here and I was practicing because I've got to play lead for the Missouri Jazz Orchestra um, next week, and uh, so I was I was kind of trying to get my you know get ready for that, and it was going okay at first, but then I started running into some problems, you know, half a dozen charts into my practice and getting kind of frustrated. So I just kind of put everything down and just you know stop for a minute and just like okay, I just I need to have a think about this. So I just kind of like walked away from it. And they're just like, I'm, let me just think about like what what's going on here. How to do, because I have enough knowledge now about how the embouchure works and how everything works that I'm often able to diagnose like why does, why aren't things feeling right? And in that case, what I felt like is that my top lip was swelling, even though I didn't feel like I was using a lot of pressure. I, you know, I was like, okay, why, why is this happening? Um, and so... I, the more I thought, started thinking about it, the more I started realizing, you know, I think what's happening is the lip position's wrong. And in the Trumpet Secrets DVD that Jerome Callip put out, he was real hot on this idea of this ice cream lick. He kept tell, talking to people like, you know, you want to set your lips up like you're going to uh, lick, lick some ice cream. And so if you were to think about how you would do that, there's this amount of your lips kind of like coming forward for that. And uh, so I've been very cognizant of that and thinking about that. But the other thing that it got me thinking about is for me, there's another kind of embouchure movement where I just sort of blow through it. And I think about it kind of like blowing the lips forward. We, sometimes I've heard people talk about how it like thinking about the air blowing the lips into position. Have you ever heard that phrase? And that's really important for me. And this ties back to a video I did where Wayne Bergeron uh, shared about the idea of like thinking of your embouchure and that aperture that's formed being like an oboe reed. And if you've ever looked at an oboe reed, an oboe reed has an aperture that's kind of built into it. And as an oboe plays it, they would never think about just like squeezing that reed so tight that they close it shut. Like what good would that be? The instrument would squawk and eventually stop responding at all. And it would sound terrible. And like, what's the point of that? But I think a lot of times with the trumpet embouchure, because of all the, the compression and tightening, and if you're using TCE, the tongue's coming forward, and if you're not using TCE, you got the tongue up and the corners down, locked down and tight. Whatever it is, however you're doing that you're creating resistance, um, what ends up happening is we can end up closing off this aperture point. And, or, like in my case, we can end up like flattening the lips this way, which kind of then almost like seals them shut. And so that when I, I have to kind of blow a little harder and then they sort of get pinned. And as that top lip gets pinned against either the teeth or even the tongue, but the top lip for me often gets pinned against the top teeth uh, and against, and the metal mouthpiece, it'll then start to swell a little bit. And so that lip position being more forward, I found even with TCE is really, really important because it kind of keeps that aperture open and as that aperture is open there's a variety of great things that happen one uh you that you get and this is a no order of importance this is just how it hits my head okay so the first thing you get more cushion more cushion for the pushing right so as our lips as we're blowing our lips forward we get more there's more cushion for the mouthpiece to push against and so instead of being like right up against our teeth where it can swell and all kinds of bad things happen, it's a little cushiony. So that's nice. It's more comfortable. The other thing, though, is the air. The air can be released. And so if you think about the, the loose beam forward, you can just hear the sound. The air just flows out so much easier. And the articulation's easier, too. My tongue's just able just to just skip on that. Da -da 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 -da. It's super easy. It's wonderful. Whereas when the lips are kind of brought in like this... 
there's like more there's more resistance there's more it's like negative resistance the tonguing's harder there's more res compression back this way which isn't necessarily positive it's too much resistance and then also because that like i mentioned earlier because that that lip is brought back now it's being crushed between the mouthpiece and, and the teeth which is going to end up causing it to swell and in my case swell within you know 10 or 15 minutes or so, um, which is a problem. So keeping that, those lips forward, and then if you're doing TCE, and that lips forward thing is I'm figuring out, you can be using tongue arch or TCE, whatever, doesn't matter, the, the, that, the lips forward thing is really important. Um, and But if we're doing lips forward and TCE, then we're just, the tongue is just is striking. And I, always, I really think of TCE primarily being step one, just try to keep your tongue near your lips. Yeah, you'll probably pretty much always feel it in contact with the bottom lip and you wanna keep it near the top lip. Um, and that's kind of how TC works. This is the tongue and this is the lips. It just sort of often is staying like, I gotta put my glasses back down so I can make sure I'm getting you this the right analogy here. Uh, it's kind of a weird uh, image that here I'm doing. I'm sorry for that. Uh, but it's the only way I can think of to show this. So if, we, if these are my lips, top lip, bottom lip, and this is the tongue, you know, I'm kind of articulating this way and the tongue may come back and it probably has like a little bit of a bevel to it uh, but it's kind of staying in contact with the bottom lip here and close to the top lip and it's never pulling all the way back here like it would in a normal like tongue arch and i'm not arching this way with it so hope that makes sense so um and the difference in sound and articulations uh, is 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 pretty evident so here's if i kind of play with the lips back <laughs> Like that and then here's with the lips forward so with that other way I could just feel the air is just coming out much more easier the sound is fuller there's a, it's more comfortable and I feel like there's more endurance with that so anyway that's what I'm working on now Tell me in the comments what you think. Does that make sense to you? Do you feel like you're blowing your lips into position? Do you feel like you're blowing your lips out of position, which would be bad? Do you feel like you're you're too you're too brought in this way? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. Thanks.